Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So the US 30 um, actually dropped off a fair amount yesterday, uh, hitting the 21 period estimate before bouncing and closing pretty much bang on that potential support at 18.111 uh, that we talked about the last couple of sessions. We're still on there just now. Um, most global markets kind of dropped ever slightly yesterday and recovered slightly. Germany 30 being a, a prime example of that. I guess the big news that everybody's all looking at just now is the euro, which we'll come back to in a second. Uh, the euro is currently trading at an 11 year low uh, versus the US dollar, um, at levels not seen since 2003, uh, as we do have a fairly important ECB conference uh, press conference today at 1.30 to talk about the stimulus measures across there. So uh, finally seen some decent movement on, on that FX pair. Uh, and obviously we've got non-farm payrolls coming out on Friday, so some people are taking some of the bullish bets off the table until they know what's actually happening with that figure. You can see there the UK 100, very volatile session yesterday, closing above potential um, support at 69.06.8, um, moving a little bit higher again today, should things continue to work well. 69.64 is next potential uh, resistance level, but 69.06 is, uh, is going to be the potential support on that uh, indice just now. Japan 25, uh, nice bounce off potential support, 18.646, nice retracement after uh, a, 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 kind of a decent trend up higher. Um, so this would be a, a nice springboard uh, looking at the next potential uh, resistance being at well quite close to 19,000 incidentally uh, which would be an all-time high on uh, on that market as well so as we spin off Japan 225 and look at dollar yen uh, it had flattened out quite close to 119 um, moving higher than, than, than drifting down as people start to buy um, some more yen ahead of the non farm payrolls figure uh, on Friday, a little bit of a, of a hedge against uncertainty right there. But longer term, we are looking at 121 spot 87 as being potential resistance. That's a bigger bit resistance with a short term potential resistance being at 120 spot 50. So then moving from that and moving on to West Texas crude, basically the Iranian nuclear deal uh, talks are, stall are stalling. Um, obviously the um, Israeli Prime Minister causing a little bit of uh, friction there between the US and Iran trying to figure out about sanctions and the nuclear deal. Um, the market is taken into consideration if a deal does go forward it's obviously going to open up the Iranian oil production to uh, the global um, playing field which would obviously cause even more pressure on prices. That's not happened as of yet, so you are beginning to see West Texas tick up there a little bit as well. Um, so 54 spot 85 is still the next potential resistance to be aware of on there. Uh, crude oil inventories uh, were much higher than expected yesterday. It's not really dented the renewed enthusiasm for, uh, for, for crude right now. So with the US dollar advancing against the sterling and the euro, not so much against, uh, well, it's still advancing against the, the Japanese yen, but not as strong as against those other FX pairs. Where does that leave gold? You know, well, I think the market is trying to price in some element of uh, of a decent figure for non farm payrolls on Friday. That's why we're seeing pressure on gold. All these long legged candles each time it tries to push up higher, it just gets pushed lower. We are in the middle of two ranges right now, so depending on how things go, I can't really imagine this going massively in one direction or the other uh, before non farms now. But 1186 is a potential support, and 1218 is a potential resistance, um, with the other technicals beginning to flatten out. So, not much else to report there. So, let's have a look at your dollar. Nice, decent technical break through uh, 111. The next potential support is at 1 spot 0786, and that's going to be a multi, multi year low. If this is already an 11 year low, uh, this will be a little bit further out. Uh, in fact, if I just go on to uh, my monthly interval for a second, uh, you'd be able to see that that was that was also all the way back in uh, in 2003 as well. So um, you start breaking below that, then you're looking at uh, 2002. Um, so your dollar very much in focus at the moment, uh, and that is definitely a, a technical break uh, worth being aware of. Um, if we do see any retracement on the back of the ECB press conference uh, today, um, you're you're looking at one spot 11 as being the potential pivot area to be aware of right there. So finishing up with GBP USD. Has come off a fair bit as well, breaking below both moving averages, quite negative. One spot uh, 5185 is going to be the next potential support level. Crossover on the MACD, slow stochastics uh, got a reversal signal. We almost had one on the RSI as well. Um, there's a lot of pressure on cable right now. One spot 5185 as a level to watch. So, economic data wise, um, interest rate announcements obviously uh, in the UK and the Eurozone. 
Uh, remember at 1.30 UK time, you do have that ECB press conference. Uh, so make sure you turn your TVs on to see that. You'll be talking about the stimulus measures, that 1 trillion euro stimulus package uh, and what impact that's likely to have in the markets. You do have unemployment claims in the US as well. And then if you fast forward, obviously you've got Friday, uh, where you do have industrial production, housing index, GDP for the Eurozone, and of course those very important employment data sets all due at 1.30 UK time. So that's the big one. Everybody's all going to be talking about US interest rates. Um, US data has been middling at best recently. Let's see if non farms can pull out the bag for the American economy. So keep your eye on the chart forum. Make insights probably going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.